Hello, 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 what's happening everybody? MCOC Droid does back again for another video on Marvel Contest of Champions. Well, there was a surprise bundle that popped up today. Well, technically two bundles. Uh, some Awakening Gem bundles, a four star and a five star. The five star is gone here because I got it. Uh, before I go into the bundle itself, let me come back here to the, to the main menu for a second. So the last time this specific bundle was offered was back in October, the end of October. And I did go for it then. Um, it was the same price. Let me pull this up. This is actually from my video uh, that I did. It was like October 23rd, 24th, um, somewhere in there. Because I think I got it the day after or something, like before it expired. But anyway, so this was the bundle back then. Um, again, it was, you know, towards the end of October. So a few months ago, it was $70 U.S., and it had the five star awakening gem crystal, which that alone pretty darn great, because um, of course those do not come by very often. Um, so seventy dollars just for the crystal, of course, is not all that exciting. It's not that great of a price range, but as you can see here, it came with ten of the generic five star six stones, twenty five star six stone crystals. So you know you don't get to pick your class, but overall it's a total of thirty five star six stones three of the regular attack boosts and three of the regular health boosts. And at the time I was happy with this. I was very happy with this. I, I went for it. I got kind of screwed on the class that I got in the gym. And if you didn't watch it, feel free to go watch it. Um, but uh, even before I opened it and even after I opened it, I was very much um, appreciative, I guess is, is the word for this bundle. It's a very great value. Um, and I was happy that they offered it. That was back in October, and again, that was for $70 US. Let's look at the one that was offered today. So, again, four-star and a five-star bundle. The five-star bundle, again, five-star Awakening Gem Crystal, so you didn't get to pick your class. It's not a generic gem. That's really my only complaint about this bundle, because this time it includes 20 generic five-star six stones, so that's 10 more of those. 30 five star six stone crystals so again you don't get to pick your class but that's 10 more of those so just right there that's a decent step up it's an overall increase of 20 five star six stones 10 more generic and 10 more random that alone along with the boosts would be enough that would be that would be not a huge step up or anything but that would be a nice boost or that would, well pun intended i guess but that would be a nice step up from the bundle that was offered before However, they went above and beyond on this one because not only did they increase the boosts from three to five each for the attack and health, they also included five of the champion boosts as well. And on top of that, they upgraded all of them from the normal boosts to the greater boosts. This is a huge increase in value. And so you're thinking, all right, well, they probably jacked up the price then. Maybe they just rounded it up to $100 um, in terms of U.S. Nope, it is still $70. So to recap, between this and this, in the last two and a half, just shy of three months, is a huge step up in value. So I got to give credit where credit is due. Kabam definitely did this one right. Um, again, the only other complaints, like I said, maybe have it, uh, you know, choose your own class, one of six, maybe have it be a generic, and then you'd probably have to increase the price a fair amount. But aside from that, it is a huge step up in value. So good job, Kabam. Um, I got to give you credit for that. And lo and behold, if you, you know, if you follow me on Twitter, I already was talking about this earlier today. I happened to get some unexpected iTunes gift cards over the weekend from the family, which covered the majority of this. So I am good to go. I got the bundle and we're going to do this. So I don't want to talk about the five star awakening gem just yet in terms of the classes. I do want to talk about the six stones. So again, we got 20 generics and we got, there's that lovely five star awakening gem crystal. So we got 20 generics and we got 30 of the crystals. So I am still saving these on a day-by-day -day basis just to see how many I get from the trials that are running right now. Again, I'm only counting days one through six since on day seven, they are always guaranteed. So I am going to only pop open the 30 that we just got here. 
Uh, for the most part, I'm hoping for science and for skill. Those would be the top two that I want the most of. Um, so there you go, three science. That's pretty darn nice. Cosmic would also be nice to keep feeding into Medusa. Uh, but science, of course. Ooh, that's a nice jump in science. Good. So that's up to seven. Those are all going to Beardo. Uh, skill would be for hopefully an eventual Aegon, since I do have... Um, a gem for him. So last set of 10 here. Let's see how we finish. Sweet. So Cosmic finally showed up. One out of 30. That's not all that great. But it is great to see a third of them be science. Again, those are all going into, into Beardo in addition to the 20 generics. So that's 30 levels right there. I'm very happy with that. Um, six more of the skill, which is good. Mystic was really the only one I didn't want in the grand scheme of things because I already have 100 and I have two or three sitting in the overflow right now. So those are now more in the overflow uh, based on how today goes. But anyway, enough stalling. Time for the main event. So no matter what I pull from this, I am still going to go over, uh, pour whatever I can into Beardo and maybe a couple of other champs because item use happens to be on right now. But... This is what we are here for. This is what's going to happen. I don't want to say what I want and what I don't want. In my mind, I have a top three and a bottom three. So here we go. Um, I mean, again, I already alluded to the fact that last time this happened in October, I got a class that I was really not hoping for. Um, so preferably, I would not like to get I would not like to get that class again. But I am going to tap it right there. <sighs> Come on, let's see what it is going to be. And it is going to be... Stop right there. Yes! Yes! Mystic, baby. That is actually... That was probably the number one that I was hoping for. I didn't want to jinx it. So, <sighs> now I can go into details. Um, so, I already have a Cosmic Gem. That's what I got from the last um, of this bundle back in October. I had already gotten two cosmic gems. So this was my third. I have nobody to use it on right now. So I'd be like, all right, I can save it for a Corvus or a Hyperion, something like that. Um, if I had gotten a second one today, I would have been very upset because that would have been four total. Um, as I was starting to mention, I already have a skill gem. I, if I had gotten a second one, I probably would have used one on Korg right now course i am trying to save one for Aegon. hopefully i can get him into or get him from a feature crystal pretty soon if i had gotten science i would have been upset since of course i just used that generic on beardo a few weeks ago but i would have been okay because i could save it for uh void i would absolutely save it for void that would have been fine if i got tech that would have gone to sparky who i just got last week from a featured um if i got mutant that would have gone to domino but I got Mystic, so I am 100% not waiting. I've got these three options right here. Um, Magic, obviously, very worthy of a, of a Mystic. Ghost Rider, incredibly worthy of a Mystic, of course. They both are, let's be, let's be real. But I don't want to use it on either of them since he is pretty much now guaranteed to be my next rank four option. It is going to Symbiote Supreme. Zero hesitation right now here we go got to screenshot it because no going back and boom symbiote supreme is awakened baby that is awesome um i mean of course i hope that i don't immediately pull him from uh, the next feature crystal so i guess i technically could have waited but that's fine that is absolutely fine i will totally take more sig levels on him if i absolutely had to but oh that is cool that is so darn cool um, let's take a look at this. I mean, Lags, of course, just did this, uh, shortly after he pulled his last week, you know, he was able to take him all the way to rank five. He had the gem for him. Um, Legacy, I forget how high got his SIG level. Um, but again, I have so many of these stones that have been sitting around for forever. I've literally, I don't want to say I've never used a, a mystic SIG stone because I never wanted them to go to waste. But as you can see, before this, the only two Mystic Champs that I had awakened, Iron Fist was the only one for a very long time. And then Loki, um, I, I got a few months back from those featured crystals, so that got him awakened. So pretty much as they've been expiring, um, I've been using, you know, one here, one there, um, just so that they don't disappear, so they don't go to waste. But aside from that, I've literally never used a Mystic Sigstone. 
So I'm about to use pretty much all of them right now. Uh, so as you can see, at level one for Symbiote Supreme, every 19 seconds he places a stagger passive, which lasts for 10 seconds. We definitely need to get that up right now. So he is absolutely getting every single Mystic Six Stone that I have. Um, I do want to, I'm going to start by getting him up to, I want to say 60. Let's start with 60. And I did not think it was going to jump up that high. Um, yeah, so let me just go to 60. Because again, Legacy, I'm sorry, I forgot how high you got yours up um, for comparison to see the SIG level and to see what the seconds go down to. Uh, and of course there's, speaking of Legacy, of course there's lag because kabam, because MCOC, who knows. Uh, but there's always lag. Okay, there we go. Um, so let me go out and let me come back in. So now up to SIG level 60. That has dropped to 14.07 seconds. All right, so that shaved off five whole seconds. That's pretty darn good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use... I'm not going to use any generics on him, of course. But let me go ahead and get him up to 100. Because I know I do have... Like I said, I probably have like six or seven that are hanging in the stash right now. Um, so let me... Uh, I'll probably exit out grab those but i do want to see now what it has jumped up to um nice so it is down to 12.60 seconds i'm assuming at max sig it probably levels out um i mean it can't be any more than 12 seconds of course maybe even 11 or 10 so basically it's just a constant passive stagger that's always there um i'm not sure so yeah let me grab the last handful that i have in the stash here and again I am just going to go ahead and use all of them. At this point, the, the rest of the video is just going to be six stones. So I totally understand if you check out at this point. That is 100% uh, understandable on my part. Um, since that that was the highlight. I was so happy to finally get a Mystic Gem. Just something other than Cosmic. Um, so I was very happy for that. Um, let me go back to the roster, actually. But it will be just checking him out and then Beardo and then that should be it. Um, I think that's all I want to do for right now. So, all right. So that's down to 12.35. So I got to assume Max Sig is, you know, at least 11 seconds then. But if any of you happen to have a Max Sig Symbiote Supreme as a three star, a four star, something like that, comment down below if you happen to know. Uh, what that levels out at when you get him to max sig, but that is pretty darn cool. I mean, that's still only a 2.35 second gap between when you know one of the passive stackers expires and the next one starts. So especially against someone like Medusa, who's triggering her furies that eventually builds up to her auto block, that is going to be a huge help. Um, so I am very happy for that. So now I'm going to go ahead and roll over to Cap. So he is someone that absolutely needs every stone you can throw into him. Um, the higher the SIG level, the better the percent chances you can see right there uh, for all of those different debuffs that he can trigger based on the team that you have. So let's go ahead and use everything I got there. Um, again, so he is level 70 right now. This is going to jump him up to level 100. And sorry, just for myself. Um, it's 57.02%. I do know that at max sig, he does go to 100% chance for all of those different abilities. So that's awesome. Um, but I want to see just where he is at once he is to sig level 100. And hopefully that didn't totally glitch out uh, because I was doing both at once. Okay, good. <laughs> Got me worried there for a second, but... Worked out well. Okay, so it is up to a 66.12% chance. So we're getting there. Um, but yeah, like I said, every generic or science stone that I can get is going into him. I want to get him to max sig as quickly as I possibly can. Um, and so hopefully, you know, with the trial still going, um, they're the handful to pick up from what is 100% of master mode, which I have not finished up yet this month, though I have done uncollected, as you see right there. So that's a few more, and then I've got nine so far from the trials, along with, you know, whatever else I get from the rest of this month. Don't really think there's anything else amazing that I wanted to use right now. I mean, I guess I could do literally the one... Oh, I have five of these. I don't know how I already had a, a few of them, but 
go ahead and top off Medusa there with those. Um, skill, like I said, I'm going to save those. I'm up to 20 now, which is a start. Uh, save those for potential Aegon, hopefully at some point. Mutant, I've got 27 right here. Obviously, I'm not going to really use it on any of these three. Um, save it for, you know, if I can get Domino Awakened, if I can get Iceman Awakened. Tech, same deal. No one really amazing to use it on right now. Uh, definitely not going to Hulkbuster or Iron Patriot. So I would save those for a potential uh, Sparky Awakening now that I have him. Um, or who knows? Who knows who else I could use him on at some point down the road. But that is going to wrap it up. So uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. I know I was premiering this one so I could hang out with you all. And now I'm actually excited because... Um, I'm happy that I got a gem that I actually want for once after getting so many cosmics. Um, happy to already have an awakened symbiote supreme. Uh, so Darathos, if you're watching, thank you for not actually jinxing me. Good job. Um, yeah, this is great. This is so great. So again, props to Kabam where it is due. They stepped up the bundle while keeping it the same price. So good job. Uh, yeah, so that will wrap it up. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, be sure to smash the like button. Let me know down in the comments. Did you get the four star? Did you get the five star? What gem did you pull? Who did you awaken? Who are you saving it for? All that stuff I'm excited to hear about. If you're not already a subscriber, feel free to hit that subscribe button and be sure to ring the bell so you get notified whenever I go live or new content gets added to the channel. Aside from that, thanks everybody for watching. Take care and I will see you next time.